Okay. So, Grand Risings, it is Warrior Wednesday. That's what I've decided it's going to be from now on. I'm going to use two balls, two hard balls today. And I'm going to be focusing glute IT and also upper body at the same time if you want to double up. If you don't want to double up, you don't have to. I know it can be a bit intense. So, let's just start. Feet about shoulder to hip width apart, whatever's comfortable for you, bend in your knees. Lift up your butt and place the ball bang in the middle of your bum cheek. And then just start to walk your way down so it goes up a little bit higher. And we're just going to drop the knees from side to side. So we're just rocking side to side at the moment. What's going to happen is your shoulders are going to tense up probably while you're doing this. So you've got to try and relax your hands. Just gentle rocking side to side. If the hard ball is too much, you can use the soft ball. But I know a lot of you have been doing this quite regularly now, so it should be quite like you need that toughness. If you're in between balls and you're like, the soft is too soft, but the hard is too hard, someone suggested the other day a tennis ball. So you get that medium sort of in between. So that might be something you might want to consider if you're sort of stuck in the middle ground at the moment. So keep rocking your knees side to side. Balls under the right glute. Okay, so Jean, we're just got the ball under the right bum cheek and we're rocking the knees side to side as we're doing this with the glue. I am using two balls today, so I've got one under the bum cheek at the moment. And we're also going to be putting the spare ball, if you want to, <laughs> in a moment underneath this, the left shoulder. So we're going to do opposite sides today. We're going to do the ball on the right, on the bum and the shoulder's gonna be on the left. So we're going diagonally across the body, which is what the, the glutes are about, twists, twists and turns, diagonal lines. Maybe go up a bit closer to your hip as you're rocking side to side. We're just warming up that tissue. Please, please keep checking in with your hands and your shoulders. They're gonna keep trying to worm their way up to your ears. And maybe you bring both knees to one side and just rest and open your left arm out for a bit of a twist and turn your head away and just take some deep breaths in. Straight away my right ankle started tensing so I'm just trying to let my body relax. So Jean just rock side to side, the ball is under the right bum cheek. And team, please take big, big, deep breaths in at your belly button so that we get a chance to massage your lower organs and lower chakras. It's very important for digestion and for gut health and for organ health. Okay. Bring the feet back onto the mat, put the ball back into the right glute and you're gonna place your spare ball, if you want to, underneath your left shoulder and you're going to do left arm is up above your head and wiggling your hips side to side, waving your hand. Imagine, um, I've never actually been to a football match, like a football, but it was, he was like waving like, woo. he was cheering someone on that sort of wave and stretch your hands open really wide. Maybe let your hips open like a bucket. So you're just opening and rocking. You can move your hand over like you're waving at someone like, Imagine you're just flagging someone down, like, oh, I'm over here. Yeah, and start to allow the ball to go maybe a bit lower down the back and the shoulder. Just find some bits that resonate with you. If you find a good bit, maybe you lay on it for a bit. I'm moving mine down a bit lower under my shoulder, but it's still on the butt. Some of you will go up by your neck. So try waving the arm side to side, wiggling your hips. That's good. Oh, I've missed fascia release. It's been a while. I've been a bit lazy with it. And then maybe bend your elbow 90 degrees and maybe you press your palm on the floor and then you take it behind you. So you're, you're sort of doing this sort of motion to work through your rotator cuff. So you're bending your elbow 
up and down. And again, just be mindful if it's too intense, it might be too much. Maybe you prefer having your arm up straight. And then what I want you to do is put both your knees to one side and try and do the twist again with the ball under the shoulder. So you're looking to the left. Your left shoulder might be touching your cheek now, that's fine with the ball underneath it. Just twist away so you're just breathing at the belly. Big slow breath out through the nose. Twists are really common as well. It's really good to help with any jaw clenching. So if your teeth are clamped down right now, rest your jaw. Keep your knees to one side and maybe make circles with your shoulder and your arm. So just move in the arm. Maybe you're circling backwards like you're doing backstroke. And maybe you circle forwards like you're doing front stroke. If you haven't got enough room, just do a modified circle. Like maybe you bend your elbow and you sort of circle it that way. And then coming back with your feet on the mat, put the ball under the shoulder. And I want you to, so the ball's under the right bum cheek, left arm is out on the floor, straighten your right leg and then lifting it up, maybe taking it out to the side. So left arm is relaxed above your head with the ball under your shoulder. So you bring it down towards the floor, you can lift it up take it out to the side maybe you let your opposite knee open to the opposite side and then down and then you can move the ball to a different bit and try that on a different bit so i've gone bang in the middle of my butt up Woo. please relax the hands let the leg flop out to the side and bringing it back up oh my hip clips lovely get a nice click that's a great sign of a release Okay, it's nothing to worry about. Yes. Imagine you had a big paintbrush on your toes. Or imagine you've got paint on your foot right now and you're painting down and you're painting up. A bit of body art paint. Ooh. Lovely. That's the last few seconds here. If you're feeling comfortable, you can put the ball under the shoulder. Maybe you're lifting up both knees and you just get the arm to rest. And again, just sort of moving the knees gently side to side, maybe making little circles, drop the knees down. If the feet are not floating off the floor, you don't have to force it. You can go more on the hip this way and it is quite intense. So if it's too intense, don't force it. How interesting, my opposite knee just clipped. This one is very intense. Woo. Maybe curling into like a little fetal position with your arm above your head. <laughs> Just explore. Curious, the curious yogi. Maybe you open your legs that wide and go, Woo. Yeah, that's quite intense on my shoulder. So I'm just breathing through this. My legs are out wide. It's like a happy baby. Maybe you close your legs and open your legs. How's your balance? How's your core? <laughs> Core workout in fascia, right? Maybe you rock your hips and you lower the opposite leg towards the floor, like you're floating. Yeah, look, my legs don't even touch the floor. Ah, yes. Last few seconds of weirdness. Ah. Maybe stretch your right leg out to the side and left leg is out long and just hold that pose. Stretch your left arm up, maybe put your left palm on the floor as opposed to up and breathe into your belly all the way up to your shoulder blades. Breathe it out. And slowly, slowly bring the arm in, bring the leg in. Take the ball away, take both balls away. And just lay on your mat right now. Pay attention to your right side of your body, your right cheek, your right thigh. Underneath your eye might feel more relaxed. Left side feels totally different to my right right now. So again, notice around the face, because the face is where we hold a lot of tension from the glutes. So yeah, just 
just checking with the chicks. We're going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to flip round. The ball's going under my left bum cheek first. Just start with the ball. Loosen up the muscle and just rock in side to side like a soup bowl. This one is well more intense. Oh. Just rocking. And I was reading this morning, I got an email blog through, as you do, on the masculine, feminine, and they was like, one way to really start to bring your energy into balance is just to notice the difference in the sides first. We'll start to bring the healing and balance. So what I would like you to do later today is go and stare at yourself in the mirror for a while, and you may notice that one eye might be slightly different height to another, uh, one cheek, might look slightly lower than the other jaw start to pay attention to the right and the left side of, of the face lots of clues there for body mapping and where we're at on our healing journey because the more we align the body the more the face will align as well it's all connected so you're rocking the hip side to side like you're doing salsa i can't believe how intense my left is Woo. Feminine energy. Need more self care. <laughs> so yeah, if that if that left side is really talking to you, we need to slow down a bit more. A bit more nourishment. Nourishment can come in the form of food, sleep, water, gentle movement, massage. When was the last time you gave yourself an Indian head massage, for example? You're all up by the hip. If you want to let one knee rock out to the side and you just gently move side to side, or you can keep both your feet on the floor. Just do whatever feels like the body needs in this moment. There is no right and wrong. Then when you're ready, drop both your knees to the left and turn your head to the right and the right arm stretches out. Find a bit that burns a little bit and just take that, that twist. It's really good for the glute IT bands. Nice deep breaths in and letting go. See if you can track the breath and see if you can feel it moving all the way up the hip, perhaps into your cheek, your teeth. You should feel this running up by your ear and your eye. These poses are really, really good as well for um, blocked sinuses. So if you have blocked nose or you find you suffer with hay fever and things like that, or you've got little ones that struggle with breathing and asthma, or even yourself, twists are amazing for respiratory and clearing sinuses. When you're ready, you can place the second ball on the opposite side. So I've got the ball on the left bum cheek. I'm going to put the ball under the right shoulder. Jeez. Okay. And right arm is above my head. And again, just rocking side to side. Open the fingers. Notice how tight your fingers feel. Just allow them to open and stretch. So I'm just wiggling my hips gently, I'm rocking side to side, gently waving my arm like I'm saying hello, I'm over here, come rescue me. No one's going to come rescue me, I have to rescue myself, so I'm just going to wave at myself. Maybe you're gently turning your head. Maybe you could also think about high-fiving your past self. So I'm usually blaming past Amy for lots of stuff, but actually this morning I was high-fiving her for lots of things that she's actually put in place to allow me to take space and time to evaluate lots of things. So I gave her lots of love this morning. So where could you high-five past self? What have you maybe done that's allowed you to create something in your current day-to-day -day world? give that past self a big acknowledgement and thank you for. Maybe past self used to go to the gym a lot, for example, so you're used to 
like, oh, thank goodness I, I got myself into a good little routine back then. So it's something that I actually enjoy doing now and it isn't a chore. You know, I, I was thinking this morning, gosh, sometimes just getting people to move once a week is a lot for them. So thank goodness I really got lots of disciplines in place. Yeah, they're not always the right ones growing up, but they got me into the mindset of, of being consistent. So I was like, thank you, Amy, for doing that. And we might not always show up for ourselves as much as what we want to, but really glad that we know that it's something that makes us feel better so you're moving the arm maybe up and down and then start to straighten the left leg out lifting it up taking it out to the side stretching the inner thigh to so start to paint with the feet what color would you be using today what color would you like to be painting the walls of your feet with I'm thinking purple. Don't know who's there with me, but purple is very strong in my life at the moment. The colour of the crown chakra, which is also royalty. So yeah, Princess Amy, here we come. All the way out, up and down, and move the ball maybe into the middle of the bum and try it in the middle. Woo, it's a bit intense. breath don't hold the breath tell the body we are relaxing we're nourishing we're loving we're caring this is all for my highest good and my current self Breathe into the armpit space so you get that stretch across the chest. You might notice the breath <coughs> running up the hips as well. So just breathe into it around the back of the hips. Maybe start to do your swimming strokes with your arms if you like, circling round, back stroke, front stroke. You might need to move the ball to a different area to get a bit deeper. If you haven't got space, maybe hold the shoulder and make some circles that way. Circle them the other way. Again, keep, keep checking in with those teeth. Wanna try and a clench. <laughs> have the arm out straight and maybe you want to lift both your feet off the floor here's where your core comes in and a bit of balance this one is well tight breathe i'm just going to hold for a moment till my body adjusts to the pressure and the sensation breathe into it and if you want to start opening the legs or moving the legs you can if it's enough just holding the feet off the floor it's absolutely fine Open the legs in like a happy baby sensation. Maybe rocking. Go like matrixy if you want, like you're sort of floating around. Maybe the lower leg goes down and round. Oh my god. Ah, oh, my left leg is proper shaking. So just don't force this if it's too much, take a break. If it doesn't want to go, maybe keep the knees bent and do the rocking with the feet off. Maybe you change the softball. I'm going to have to hold the wall. Woo! Yeah, if you need to hold the wall and take an assist, take an assist. Maybe you want to rest one foot on the wall. Breathe. Last few seconds of torture. 
kind of torture I like, though, you know. And then when you're done with the legs floating or whatever you're doing, just again, come into a rebound. Just lay on the floor and just check in with how does each side feel. You can still feel a fair difference in each side. I don't know about you, but it's, it's a work in progress, remember. If you've been heavily dominant on one side our whole lives, then it's going to take a longer time to to work through the blocks, to work through the, the trapped energy in the body and the scar tissue. Okay, let's continue with the glutes and ITs. So in yin yoga, we've got banana pose. So we're going to be laying on our backs and we're going to cross our leg over. So we're going to cross our right leg over and just sweep round like a banana. But we're going to put the ball underneath the bum cheek when we do this. So bend your knees, take the ball under the left glute, place the ball underneath and then lay the legs out. Cross the right leg over and then just rock into a banana shape and just breathe. It won't feel like you're doing too much but trust me you are. You want to be feeling a stretch across the armpit from the left as you're bowing round all the way to the hip to the right sorry that's the left sorry the right side so start again balls under the left arms above the head cross the right leg over the left and then spin your body round to the left to make a C shape so you're going to feel a stretching sensation on your right glute hip IT band area just breathe in And let it go. So I have to grip my toes to pull my right foot over. So we're just harmonizing the energy from fire. You might feel this stretching through your thigh as well. So imagine you're making yourself taller. So you're, you're curving your body round. My bum cheek on, is on the floor on the left with the ball underneath it. Try and relax your kneecaps, your teeth, your fingers. So you take four really long breaths in and long breaths out. So breathing all the way from the toes, up the legs, up the ribs, up the arms to the fingertips and then letting go just as slowly. So take your time with the breaths. If you've done your four, you can always switch sides. right bum cheek, arms above the head, cross the left over the right and drag your feet round like you're bowing so you get a stretching sensation. Running from the left big toe all the way up the left leg into the rib cage, all the way up the uh, chest tissue, armpit, inner arm to the thumbs and fingers. So look towards your feet. So you're making like a letter C. If you was the alphabet right now, you are the letter C. Close the eyes, go inwards, feel the breath, see where it gets a bit stuck. 
I mean, if you can breathe in for a count of like 10 or 15 or even 20, like even better, and out the same sort of tempo. It's a work in progress. Kundalini, they breathe in sometimes for a count of 60 and out for a count of 60. So don't underestimate how much breath you can get into your body. See if you can take extra breath in at your lower rib cage and bring it all the way up to the shoulder. And if you need to adjust the arms to get the stretch, adjust. Just gonna take two more really long, slow breaths in and out. slowly take the ball away just lay on your back let your arms be long let your hands come down by your sides just breathe in through both nostrils and out I want you to really tune into your cheeks like just and your eye sockets can you feel a difference? Which side of your face feels lower than the other? Do they feel balanced? Do the same with your shoulders now and see which side maybe feels a bit different, which one maybe feels higher than the other. attention to your heart, the space between your chest. Just breathe deeply through the front of the heart. As you exhale, breathe out through the back of the heart and anchor yourself into the earth. have a hug, rock your knees side to side. Oh, I feel like I've still got the ball underneath him. <laughs> and just start rocking until you sit up. Drink plenty of water you lot. And I'll see you for rock if you are coming. If not, have a wonderful Warrior Wednesday. My hair. I'll see you in a moment. Well done.